Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sajad Chapati and in this video, I am going to solve a important question which is scenario based and this question was asked in the in one of the company and I got this question from one of my, one of my follower. Okay, so chalo, let's get started and we'll see how we can solve this question. Before going to that, I would like to introduce my course that is practice 50 Pi Spark interview question okay and here you will be getting around 50 questions and you will be solving using PySpark in Databricks right apart from this if you want to know uh, other courses like you know Azure Databricks course and uh, end to end project courses then you can click on the courses button and you may get all the information okay and you can see this course was taken by 207 student till now till today and ratings are five and six based on six ratings so you can explore but if you if you like you can uh, you know you can take this course otherwise it's okay or you, or you can refer to other guys chalo now this is the question the question saying that we have 10 tables in adls and we want to move data from adls to sharepoint how will you do that okay so i am assuming right now i am assuming that we have adf Oh, sorry just a minute huh. I'm assuming that we have ADLS uh, sorry we have ADLS and we have a uh, SharePoint details ADLS details we have we have SharePoint and we are using here ADF okay so if we are using ADF then then how we will solve that what will be the process first create IR which is based on Azure okay second will be second will be what second we can use uh, you know we, we will create link service of ADLS and SharePoint right third we create a data set for both for same and we will use here param parameters why i am saying parameters because we have here 10 tables or we can say 10 files right so we will not be going to create 10 data set over here instead we will be using we will be creating one data set and we will uh, parameterize it okay fourth we will use here copy activity and we will use for loop at activity and we will use here a lookup activity i believe lookup activity okay lookup not lookup or we can use lookup or metadata also now this should be your answer in one way right now you can enhance this uh, answer also how see everything will be same like first point second point third point will be same and in the fourth point when i am saying hey i will be using here copy activity and for loop what i will say i will uh, i will store that 10 tables in one of the json file which is which is called a meta data file okay and and what i will be doing i will be fetching that 10 table name from that file and I will use for loop and then I will use here copy activity okay why I am saying I will store that 10 tables name in the JSON file or a CSV file or Excel file whatever because tomorrow if my client say that hey I do not want 10 table I want 20 tables instead right then what I will do I will insert another 10 table name in this json file in this json file right and i'll start the activity i do not need to deploy the whole adf pipeline okay so instead of json file you can also put into a rdbms table depends on you right okay very nice this is the first process now i am assuming that I'm using only Databricks okay now what it is saying that hey I need to just copy the data from ADLS to SharePoint right 
I do not need to do any transformation at all. So what I can do, see in the share point, share point has API and I believe SDK also, Python SDKs. Likewise, ADLS also has API and SDK. Now, Python SDK, right? Now, since Databricks uh, supports Python, so what I will do, I will create a notebook and connect ADLS, right, using SDK, connect uh, SharePoint SP using SDK or API, whatever, and then copy the data. This can also be achieved. Another way is that I can mount ADLS, right? And then I can use dbutils command uh, to copy the dbutils.fs.copy or mv command to uh, move the data from uh, uh, from you know from ADLS to this uh, SharePoint. Now there's a third way. I can use here logic app also. So it's the same process like we have some connectors, we have some uh, connector or we have some flows. So you can create that. So there can be multiple methods by which you can solve this question. The, the idea or the goal or the main point here is that you have to tell that you will be using a a kind of metadata file or metadata table or iteration wise you will do it you will not say that hey i will be using 10 data set right so that's the point over here and someone can ask you also how will you connect adls uh, and how will you connect sharepoint like by which way so i you can say like i can use using i mean i can connect adls with service principal SharePoint also using service principle or if you I mean I can I can also log in using username password or manage identity manage identity it is also can be uh, you know connect by manage identity it is can also be connected by uh, SaaS token right so all these questions can be raised so you have to be prepared to answer all these questions when to use when and when what type of connection you will be using when and where right so i hope that you understood this concept and if you do please try to uh, you know uh, create a scenario by your own and try to copy the data from you know ads to sharepoint so that you will get some experience because i have done in my company in the past so i know what are the challenges i have faced and that's why you know i am telling to you so I hope that you understood it and please go and share this question with your friends and also check out my courses on my platform called www.geekcoders.co.in so that you will get some good uh, real time scenario questions and uh, yeah that's it. Chalo, thank you. Bye bye. We'll meet you in the next lecture.